Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be laying some uh, thin brick on the um, on the kitchen floor. So this is the way I do it. Um, the first thing I did was start with a reference point. And my ref reference point was that island uh, right there. I snapped the uh, chalk line. That way I can get the first row straight. And then I got a, um, a spacer, half inch uh, spacer from ply. And uh, all the spaces are half an inch going upward and also uh, in between. And they're all half inch uh, spaced. So it is a... Um, pretty simple process um, but it's very tedious tiresome because you're leaning over or you're on your knees so you want to make sure you get some knee pads also the uh, mortar you want to have a nice uh, consistency kind of like cake batter consistency and I back buttered all the tile, each one, so it took quite some time to do. Um, but it was worth it at the end, and uh, we really like how it looked. It's not an easy project as far as um, your back or your knees go, uh, but it's pretty simple to do. It's already got my uh, mortar mixed up, and here I am back buttering uh, each one. Uh, you, I do recommend you um, put on some gloves while you do this. Um, I was going kind of slow, but uh, I do recommend gloves because of the uh, the mortar. So it does crack your skin so there um where it's back buttered and then i'm going to lay it down i'm not necessarily going to uh, measure it right now i'm just going to lay it there and then i'm going to do a few at a time and then i'm going to go back and um, make sure everything is uh, measured correctly and it looks straight So we're here, we're checking uh, to make sure that it is level uh, with the rest of them and that each one is level so you make minor adjustments to them. I checked uh, both ways. Then I got my spacer sure that they were all uh, spaced evenly and that they were leveled so I did uh, one row at a time and one uh, thin brick at a time as well
Also, what you want to do from time to time is look at your lines, okay? You don't want to have something dry on you and the line be wavy. So you want to look at it and make sure that it looks straight. Another thing you can do Grab a tape measure and where your reference point is at. 17. And you can check in several different places. 17. Roughly 17. So you can check it in different places to make sure you're still uh, straight. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep going and then we're gonna do all that back part as well. This takes some time because it's you're laying one by one, one little thin brick and then after we lay the thin brick we're gonna put some grout in the middle of every every line but that should be a little quicker to do this part does take some time So here we're going to do the same process. First I laid them down and then I went back with my spacer and with my level and made sure everything was leveled and correctly spaced out. I didn't use any of these spacers that I could have got from the um, hardware store. Uh, I just used a plywood spacer that I had and around here I'm measuring against the the uh, counter or eye island to make sure they were all spaced the same My back was getting a little tired, I got a chair. It does take a, take a little toe on your back. I was a little sore the next day, the next days. It's all basically the same process here. Just make sure they're all level and spaced out properly.
Okay, now we got the, the majority of the tiles laid. They're also uh, dried. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on the edges, on all the edge, and cut the, the pieces that are missing on all the outer edges. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll notice that these tiles, some of them still have like some, uh, it looks like paint, but it's really from the mortar, the white mortar that I used. So I'm gonna go through there and clean them. So here on all the edges, I'm gonna finish up the tile or the thin brick. Then after we do the thin brick, we're gonna do the grout. After we finish the thin brick, the edges, then we're gonna do the grout. I'm gonna cut the uh, thin brick 
on this uh, towel. So it's a water base, so you put the water in here. I've had this for many, many years. And it comes in handy with small projects around the house. So this is where I'm gonna cut the towel. So we're gonna cut them now. Um, and I'm gonna do, these are, um, I want them to be at nine inches. So I'm just gonna measure from the card here to where the blade's at. Nine inches right on the blade. I do that. I'm just gonna set it. There's also a little guide right here on both sides. And set it. Okay, now we're gonna cut it. And it has a little power button. That's gonna be facing the wall. And then I'm gonna put a trim over it anyways here. So I'm gonna leave the factory edge where you can see it. Okay, so I took the this off because whenever I was putting it through, it was getting stuck and then it was kicking back. So I'm just gonna um, use it like this and just guide it right in the middle to where this line is at. That's what I'm gonna do with all of them. And I'm gonna use both hands as well. Okay, I got them all cut. It was a lot better doing it that way with both hands. Make sure you don't have your hands in the middle there and keep the safety guard on, but it was a lot better to cut these without using the um, this piece right here. And it was a lot safer without it as well. Okay, we got all the thin brick laid they're dry. There's still um, some mortar on all of them and somebody spilled something in that area. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean that after I grout it. That way I clean everything in one uh, pass. So now we're ready for the grout. Before I put the grout, I'm gonna vacuum every the lines. Okay. I'm gonna vacuum area. Everything's dry already, but I'm gonna vacuum. There's gonna be some trim that's gonna go there.
This is the grout I'm going to be using. It's Polyblend Plus Sanded Grout. The joints, one eighth to half inch. And these are half inch joints. It meets the ANSI A 1187. And then on the back, this is a moisture gray on the back. <clears throat> Tells you. This is a clean the grout joints. Add cool water. Add the grout. Then mix to a smooth paste like consistency. Then you gotta wait for five minutes. Then it says to remix it and then apply grout with a float. Remove excess with a float. And then wait 10, 20 minutes. And then wipe with a sponge. And then in two hours, it says to remove the haste and don't step on it in 16 hours. And then wait three days to seal it. Okay. So read the instructions on the back. So we're gonna mix this and then we're gonna apply it. Then with a damp sponge, I'll go over the the grout lines. I know I'm also cleaning the excess off. Okay. Then I'm gonna come back and clean the uh, the face of these. This is what I'm doing with the damp uh, sponge. You need to have another bucket with water. So you can clean the sponge in there, rinse it, and then you can go back and wipe away the excess. So that's my sponge bucket with water. I need to clean it. And then I got another bucket with a grout. So I'm doing it by sections. So once it starts drying up, it's gonna look hazy. So we're gonna let it dry a little bit more. I went over it with a uh, damp sponge so the grout can be smooth. You see where it's drying up right there? After that, I'm gonna come back with another clean, damp uh, sponge and clean them off. So this is the actual color. So I cleaned this one off. That's the actual color. And here's how it's looking. Um, just a tip. Don't let the grout sit too long on the face of these. Because if you let it sit too long, it's going to be a little harder to uh, take the grout off from the face. Okay. So 
So on the instructions, it says around 30 minutes and then take the grout off of the face. Okay. So I'm gonna, I still need to take the grout off of that. But I'm, I'm taking the grout off of the face of this. But don't let it sit too long. Don't let it dry up like that spot over there. I'm gonna go through and wipe it down real quick. It's a lot harder because the grout sticks to the tile and then it'll be harder to, to take it off. Okay, so we're gonna see how I'm doing this. So the first thing I'm gonna do put the, obviously mix the grout. And then I put the grout here, okay? Spreading it with my float. And there's different kinds of floats you can use. I'm just using this one. Make sure it's in the grooves. I'm doing here, I'm doing it in small sections at a time. And the reason why I'm doing it like that is if I don't, one, it makes the grout smoother with the uh, sponge, makes it look better, more uniform. Another reason is if I let the grout sit on the face, like I said before, it'll be extremely hard to take off. So I rinse this. I rinse it in my bucket of water. Take the grout off. And I squeeze it, I get all the water out that I can. And then I go over it again. That way there's no but I'm, I'm going over it very lightly. I'm not pressing down on it hard. I'm just very lightly going over it. That way it wipes off the grout from the face of the, the thin brick. Okay. Turn it over. And I do this several times. So you don't want to let the grout dry on top. Okay. So do that to smooth it. And I'll rinse it again. Get as much water out as I possibly can. More water coming out, and I go over it again. Okay. And this removes the grout from the face. So that's how I'm doing it. I'm doing it in sections at a time. Because if you, if you do long sections, okay, it's going to be dried up. And by the time you go back, and try to clean off. You're gonna be scrubbing for a longer time trying to get the grout off the face. Okay. That's, that's how I'm doing this. Pretty sure there's a million and one ways to do it. 
So once it fully dries, that part over there is fully dried because I did that yesterday. Once it's fully dried, you get the damp um, sponge again. Okay. Once it's dry, you take the damp sponge and then you go over it, clean it final you might have to do this a few times it depends they also sell a chemical that takes the haze off and do that also I might run to the store and buy it okay so after you take off the haze the color starts coming back That's what I'm gonna do. And then once I take that, I clean them off again, I'm gonna put a sealer on top of it, a matte sealer. All right, so this is where we're at. Finished grouting. Um, so you notice the thin brick has a haze on it. So what I'm gonna do first is clean it off with a um, with a sponge. Take a little bit of it off. And clean sponge just with some water. And then I'm gonna put some um, haze remover. I bought some at the local uh, depot store and then we'll see how it looks then after that i'll put some after that i'll put some um some sealer a sealer on it this is currently the way it's looking i have to wipe down some of the Cabinets, clean it up real good and get all that haze off. And then I'll put the sealer on top. Okay, I just washed it with this uh, sponge that my wife had. Just cleaned it off a little bit. Then I'm gonna let it dry. Then I'll probably do it again. Then I'll let it dry and then I'll put the um, grout ha haze remover. Okay, so we wiped it down uh, a few times just with water. And there's still obviously some haze on it. So I got this uh, Aquamix organic acid treatment. This is for the Polyblend Plus. That's the one that I got. And obviously we want to read the instructions. Okay. So it says to pre-wet the surface with water. And if there's heavy grout haze, apply solution to the wet surface and scrub. With a nylon bristle, work in small areas. Flush with water immediately after brushing. 
Do not use repeatedly or uh, surface damage may occur. For heavy concrete etching, allow solution to sit up to 30 minutes prior to flushing with clean water. Okay. So I'm gonna spray some water directly on here. I'm a handy dandy water bottle. We're just gonna apply it and then I'll put some Sprinkle some haze over it, and then I'll use a sponge or something to clean it. So this is how it's looking. The color is coming back. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna apply the um, sealer. Okay, so we washed it, scrubbed it, and the grout haze is still over the thin tile. <clears throat> what I should have done is apply the uh, the sealer before I grouted. I should have cleaned the thin brick I should have cleaned it and then went ahead and applied the uh, sealer and after that I should have grounded it afterwards but what I did was put the thin brick on and then I grouted it even though I cleaned it off the haze was still there and it stained the brick okay so I used the poly blend plus um, grout remover grout haze remover that worked a little bit on some you could see but then there's others that it didn't take the haze off okay so I got this so Famic acid crystals. They dissolve in water. It says remove cu removes cured and ground and mortar haze. Okay. So we read the instructions. It says for heavy um, heavy duty concrete cleaning mix twelve ounces. You can read the instructions there. It says to apply solution to a damp surface, scrub with a nylon bristle. Somewhere on here it says to apply it with uh, hot water and mix it in water. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm hoping this removes the haze from the thin brick. I also bought this. It says paint and rust stripper. So it hooks onto a drill. So I might I might do it with a drill or just with a hand. Scrub it off. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see if it works. Hoping it does. So it says to wet the surface. So 
I'm just gonna start on a piece back here. I'm gonna wet it with some hot water. Okay. Until it's wet. And I'm gonna put some hot water, put some crystals in there, and let them dissolve, and then I'll pour it over. Okay, so I got my hot water. The sulfamic acid crystals and also got the, um, the scrubber ready so I'm gonna pour some in here you want to make sure you're wearing your PPE gloves and eye protection I'm gonna mix it Okay, so I've cleaned it a few times with the sulfamic acid and still it has some haze on it. Um, but it is getting better. And here I put more of that, fixing to scrub it down more. Hopefully this is the last time that I'll have to uh, clean it, but it is looking a lot better now. Okay, so we cleaned it a few times, colors back. It's uh, how we want it. To be now I'm gonna just put the uh, sealer over it I did have to clean it several times with different uh, cleaners because of the grout that's one thing that I would do differently if I were to do it again I would apply the sealer first before uh, applying the grout I had a clean it several times like I said now I'm gonna apply the uh, the sealer to it so this is the sealer and finish it's a matte <clears throat> there was also a glossy one for a porous natural stone and here's instructions on the back Prep the surface, then it says apply two to three thinning coats with a sponge. Allow two to th one or two hours drying time between the coats. Um, it also says <clears throat> that clay pavers are very porous and can be stained by the ground if not sealed first. So that's the part that I missed. I uh, should have sealed it first. For interior applications, apply two to three coats before grouting as directed above. Allow final coat to dry at least two hours before grouting. Allow grout to cure at least 48 hours then apply an additional coat. Okay, so that's the part that uh, if I were to do it different, I would have done it this way, but I didn't read this at that time. I would say that that would be the, definitely what I would do different. Okay, so I'm gonna apply now our floor.
Okay, so here's how it looks uh, after one coat. It's kind of milky a little bit. But this is one coat I'm planning to uh, put a uh, second, or maybe even a third coat afterwards. But it's looking very, very good. So this is how it looks after the first uh, pass of the seal finish. It's looking pretty good. That's the look we were going for. So I'm gonna do another coat. It's been about three hours now. So I'm gonna do another coat.